Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so back on the Jetta truck here, um, I didn't shoot any more video of this part because I really didn't care to. Um, it was just a bunch of cutting, fitting, trying to make that square body back piece fit in there. Fits pretty well. Um, I've got it tacked in and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so now that that's all tacked in there and stuff, I can grind off all the welds and I can actually lay uh, some filler across that and see how it goes. So down here, I'm gonna cut that off above the, you know, the stamped part. And then I will weld a flat piece all the way down and show you oh, what yeah. I'm doing. Another thing I wanted to mention, I ended up actually cutting the roof another seven and a half inches back so that the cabin area is smaller. I was, whenever I was editing the footage, I was like, of the first video, I was like, man, that looks goofy. And then uh, Sub also uh, commented in there and was like, hey, that looks kind of weird uh, with that roof overhanging so far. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that. So cut the roof another seven and a half inches. Um, so it's short. So it's just this small piece that I have to make here. Um, I got to go out back and find a truck with some halfway decent bed rails that I can cut off. And then they can get put on here and welded. And then from those, it'll come down to about this lip and over. So it's good. This is antenna stuff. So we'll put that probably up here or something. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that I also shortened that up as well. So what I'm going to do is this is going to get cut here and I'll build a piece that kind of L's over. So it'll come down and then L over so it's flat and doesn't have this dip down. Um, I am going to make an access port. Well, actually, this will be cut and it'll be kind of like that. I should be able to get to the fuel pump if I ever need to. Um, and then uh, I'm going to probably remove these guys here and all of this stuff so then it's a little more open. I'm going to build a piece of metal that come down to here and enclose all this, and then the rear speakers will also be technically inside the cab. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much how it's going right now. Um, as you can see, everything's spot welded, tacked all the way along there. Everything fits good. The rear window looks good. It's pretty dang even. Um, I may have to go up with the bottom center of it a little bit because it's bowed, but um, you know everything lines up good. Um, so you can see my cutting apparently wasn't that great because there's a bit of a gap there. But uh, you'll have that whenever you're like me and don't like to measure four, four million times. You just cut four million times. So it's good enough. Um, it fits good. I'm really excited about it, but now I'm going to do that stuff down in there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to actually start working on the Jetta truck again. Um, it's been a minute. This is going to be part of another video or part of other video that I've already taken. So um, in that, we laid some mud, or not mud, laid fiberglass over all this stuff to kind of graft it into one piece. Um, got the doors all welded shut, all that kind of stuff. I'll go through that in just a minute. Welcome back. Back to working on the Jetta truck today. Uh, it's a little loud in here because Jordan's got the heater running because he just painted the wheels for his 36. Um, I'll show you what we got going on this. So as you can see, I laid the first filter or the first layer of glass on this to made it into one. I'm gonna run up and get some steel after a little bit here. I've got all of my dimensions and stuff that I need because I'm gonna make a bar that goes across and then ones that come back. So, and possibly ones that come up to the um, old pillars here to try and stiffen everything up. I've gotta weld these doors shut on both sides and I need to find a truck bed that I can cut the rails off of to make my rails. Um, I don't think I'll get to do the rails today, but I do need to run up and get steel so I can, you know, fill in all of this stuff here. And yeah, so that's, that's kind of what we're doing. Um, 
I laid the first glass without the camera on just because, you know, it's not very thrilling to watch per se. So this is what we got going right now. Uh, we took it out and we picked up some doors with it today and, um, oh yeah, I removed all the exhaust from it and put new exhaust on it, which exits right there. It's really loud. Sounds kind of cool though. Um, but uh, yeah, it gets a ton of looks, so this thing's really fun to cruise around in, isn't it, Jordan? Gets attention. Yeah. So, well, that's anyway, anyway, that's what I got going right now. I'm going to weld these doors shut and try and figure out something to do with this area here. Oh, I should probably point the camera there. Um, but then, yeah, it's, it's just what we got going. I'm going to probably lay another couple layers of uh, glass over this because this has to be built up. A decent amount to make everything 100% perfectly lined up and this is why you use glass and not regular um, like a body filler because the body filler will crack it's not very strong this stuff is fiberglass infused it's extremely strong I mean you, you can do some serious stuff with that stuff so um, yeah I don't know if you guys remember like back in late 2000s everyone would take their trim molding off and they just fill it full of filler they do it with those roof lines too this one doesn't have it you know they have that roof line they pull that stuff off and then they fill it through a full of filler and you're not really supposed to go more than like an eighth inch, eighth inch thick of filler yeah so it just cracks over time so like christian was saying with this needing to be built out yeah build it with this crap that's really hard and durable and then once he goes over it with his... Yeah, then it will crack. It so, thin. yeah, this is just like your base. So you build this stuff up, sand it down. Then you can lay your regular filler over the top of it to make it really smooth and pretty. And it works really well for that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to weld these doors shut real quick. And uh, then after that, probably have to run up to Polish and get some still. So... Yeah, all right, so we got the doors welded up, both sides. This side I already ground down. You can see, well, that's ground nicely. Also, where is all bubbling back here? I went ahead and I just ground all that crap off so I can get to this hole here, which is actually a plate that somebody put in previously. Um, so, I gotta cut all that junk out and then weld in a new piece there. Um, but I need to grind down all of that. Then I can take this stuff and fill that seam. So then it's, uh, you know, not there anymore. And then it won't look like it's got a door. So then it'll be really looking like a truck. But like I said before, still trying to figure out a uh, truck that I can cut off the uh, bed rails from. To work on this so yeah i'll get back to you once we're uh laying filler so we got you know some of the glass laid i just quick knocked it down because i have to lay more over the top of all of this stuff um i still need to lay glass on here and we've got the glass laid here but i still have to knock it down but this all has to be you know another couple of coats with the glass before I can move on to regular filler. Um, I really want to today go and actually get the steel to do like the bed and all that kind of stuff because, you know, I'd like to get this whole thing rolling so we can get, uh, you know, some new color thrown on this thing. So um, if you've got an idea for what color to paint this thing whenever it's done, put it down in the comments because, uh, I'd like to hear it, because I'm not 100% sure. Um, a couple of my buddies said like a dolphin skin gray or shark skin gray, something like that. Um, nothing flashy, but it'll hide all of the uh, trash that's in this paint or in this body already. So that might be a good thing. Otherwise, I might take a little more time on body work and stuff and shoot at something cool. <clears throat> but we'll see. Um, out here, video will be coming up on this thing real soon too. Jordan bought this Scion XB and uh, this is also going to get 
cut into a truck as well. So that's going to be really fun. But uh, yeah, today, this is what we got going on. So we got that stuff all knocked down. All nice like around here. So now I can blow all this crap off and start here and lay another coat of this glass because I have to build this out a little ways. So I'm gonna do that now. So this is the filler that I'm using for this. It's fiberglass. It's called Bondo hair. It's pretty crazy stuff. Stuff dries to like a freaking rock. So, do is put out some, mix in some of this hardener here, and uh, then you spread it before the stuff starts to harden. So, I'm gonna mix this up and uh, start spreading. I got another layer of glass over this stuff, so I'm just gonna wait for that to dry now. I gotta run up, get the steel and stuff for all of this goodness in here. Um, Jordan is, as you can see, making some progress as in uh, removing windows, getting glass to go all over the place. Isn't that right, Jordan? Yeah, I lost my porcelain. Son of a gun. So we're using, um, broken spark plugs. I found it! There you go. There you go. Broken spark plugs to, uh, break up the glass. Yeah. Because if you hit it right, this just shatters it. Let's see. So watch right here. Ready? Ready? Oh! Didn't work, it's in this glow box uh, though. Okay, all right. I think I might have missed the glass, I'm not gonna lie. No, it, it definitely hit the glass. There's a little white mark right there, yep. Okay, let's you try the glass tinkling. Yabba! See, and just yeah. like that. Frickin' uh, breaks them right out. And then, uh... So, yeah, you'll see in his video, he does the same thing. Kinda shows how all of, uh, the windows break but yeah take a look at this this heap of crap so i'm gonna run up get all my steel for this i'm gonna take the old f1 shitty up there and uh get the stuff to do in here jordan's making a heck of a lot of noise it's raining. Jeez. Uh, just went up and i got a bunch of steel and some tubing and all that good stuff now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this right along that lip there. And then i got to cut out all this stuff here, get rid of these guys, and then i got to kind of, you know, come off of, well, here, over no, to there. To him. He doesn't know anything! It's not a trash can, it's a truck. It looks like a trash can. <laughs> Your XB looks like a rolling pile of turd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to cut that there. And then I got new steel to go down there that's going to be flat and not have this janky shit going on here. Um, I only did that because it was super floppy and annoying whenever you drive. So I got that stuff. I got um, those two. And then I got some steel to build a couple little braces in here as well. So... This stuff is still drying because it takes a while to dry. It's still sticky. So, please don't. <laughs> so, yeah, cut the roof back off of it. Chop top! Yeah. How about this net? So, I gotta get that stuff and then I think I'm gonna see if I can find Dave and ask him if he's got a truck out back that I can chop those guys off of. Because that would be really cool, wouldn't it, Jordan? Huh? Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's having fun over there chopping the roof off of that thing. So, I'm going to get to doing some more of this stuff.
So we got this cut here. We got this cut here. Yep, that's right, Jordan. Don't forget it. We got this here cut. I thought it was cut here. Okay. He's throwing stuff at me. I got some plates crappily welded in there because, uh, you know, hashtag pro welder. Um, and then I got this bar right here welded back in here. That's going to give this whole thing some support back here. And then uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to build some more plates and weld them on probably here or up here. I'm not really sure. But then it's going to probably V over to there and kind of sturdy everything up a little bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's as far as I am right now. <sighs> it's, uh, it's a lot of work. Jordan, how, how, how is yours coming? Well, we started at like noon and it's all cut off, it's done it, and I almost have my back on, so I think it's going better than that one did. Yeah, <laughs> mine took three days, I think. That one, but I had to, fab. yeah, there's a lot more fab going on with this one than there is with that one because this one I, I was able to do that. Hopefully, I guess we don't know because it's not up there yet. I'm, I'm gonna cut and hopefully we'll be able to use the back. So I think it'll be a little easier than right, having like cut. having to graft a uh, square body rear window section into the cabin of this thing. I do, Duramax. Like, I, I like that though because it's got a Yeah, yours is going to be fairly large, so um, we've got. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I'm I'm having loads of fun. Oh, it's not, this it's is uh, what we used to cut the roof off of mine. Yeah, that we figured out is way. Better. That, that is way better. You'll see that in the upcoming episode whenever Jordan's explaining how he does this on his uh, on his turd wagon there. Um, but yeah, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those plates build my bars, and then uh, start doing sheet metal-y stuff, and uh, see how that uh, turns out. Just finishing up here for the day. It's five o'clock, so wife is gonna want me home. So tomorrow, or the next day, whatever, whenever I get a chance, build the plates for there and there, and then that'll come over to the bar back here. And then uh, got this piece of sheet, here and that's gonna go across there then I'll have tin that goes from here over to there so this all kind of be boxed in all the way around same thing on that side so that's what we're gonna you know kind of do in the next video here but for now uh, that's gonna be it um, thanks for watching stay tuned for the XB truck build um, Jordan really wanted to turn a car into a truck so he, uh, he's doing that. Yeah. So pick that thing up today and well, so you can see, roof's already cut. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment. Um, let us know what you like, what you don't like. And uh, we'll try to improve on from there.